properties of the constituents, synonyms, views. Yes, that's true. Token generators, yes, yes. So I, I shared a couple of more star files, like by name TLS skill one and TLS skill two. Yes, he did, yes. Yeah, can you open one of them, TLS skill one? One, okay. TLS skill one? Yes. Because what's going to happen now is going to be programming at the back end. You're going to write blocks of code. Oh, okay. For, uh, like, okay. So we are, we are done with yes, yes. Almost PLS skill, how to write PLS skill. Yeah, okay. tell me. No, yeah, just uh, you, you, you're breaking up before, but now you're okay. So, so what do you read in PLSQL? It's a programming pro procedure like yeah. this. Yeah. we did on, on SQL. With SQL, we could interact with the database objects. We could create database objects. We could insert data into them. We can read. We could read data from them, and we could do all such things. Yes. But. But what we did were all one query at a time or one statement at a time. We could only do one query at a time or one statement at a time. Oh, yeah, yes. All, all, you, all you're doing is you know, just retrieving data, right? Yes. yes, yes. Even if you're doing manipulation, it's only one at a time, one yes. query, one select statement, one insert, one update. Now, if you cannot do multiple, uh, multiple things together, you cannot do an insert, an update, a delete together. You have to do one after the other. Oh, okay. the, like, yes. like, like, okay. like in, like in one, uh, one query you can put everything into one. Yeah. So now I'm giving you a need where we have to execute multiple statements based on some condition. Okay. okay let's understand like this. If you have more than five employees in sales department, then you're going to add an employee to purchase department, not sales. Yes, you're going to do uh, some addition to purchase department. You're going to change some salaries. So it's based on some condition. So okay. here, we don't need just one statement. We need many of them. Yes. We, which get executed conditionally based on some criteria. Okay. So, so my question, where, where is it used? Though? Is it like a, is it a developer uh, interface or is yeah, it like... It is a backend object. Whatever you're going to create now is going to be a block. We are going to write a block of code which creates as an object in your schema. Now, which is a schema? We are working in Scott schema. Yes. Scott schema has around six to seven tables. What we have created. Scott yes. schema has around three views. It has a synonym. It has a sequence. It has an index. So Scott yes. schema has a set of objects. So yes. this set of objects, we're going to add a few more objects. Okay, like a few more objects. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We are which are going to be blocks of code. Okay. This is not just one line. Yeah. So this is a programming extension to SQL. Why you need a programming extension to SQL? Every database supports PLS skill. Every okay. database supports PLS skill. So what is the need for PLS skill? If you want to execute multiple statements, if you want to execute conditionally multiple statements, okay. You may have to write them all together and send yeah. them all at once to the database. Okay. And this yes. is called a PLS skill, a procedural extension given to SQL. So, so you, even here you're just ret retrieving data. You're doing, you're not doing anything. You else. do everything. No, no, no. You do everything. Oh. You insert, you update, you delete, you commit, you roll back, you select. You do everything inside PLS skill. Whatever you learned in SQL, you're going to combine it with something else, and you're going to make a PLS skill block out of it. Oh, so, so, so you're still reading the data. So you're not doing anything else. So I know, I know, I know. We are doing. No, it. no, 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 Krish. We we can do anything. We can oh, yeah. insert. We can I mean, update. Exactly. Sorry, sorry. So you, what you're doing is PLS SQL is more than like SQL combined into one, like everything into one. You can. Yes. I can mix yes. and match. SQL combined with some programming language. Exactly. Are you have heard about any programming language? C programming, Java programming. Yes, any yes. idea about programming? Yes, yes. I heard so about it. Yeah. Uh, what do we write? We write blocks of code, right? We put if like this, then we write conditional structures. Yep. We do something iteratively, continuously in loops and things like that. So yes. if you wanted to realize some logic at the back end, we write PLSQL blocks. Okay. So, 
so like any programming language cls will also has a definition it is given usability module this is for you to okay it has we are going to learn how to write a pls scale block how to execute a pls scale block so okay, what is the structure of a pls scale block okay we are going to learn about some control structure how to have a then do this to do something iteratively continuously we are going to have some loops okay we are going to learn how to in a pls scale block how to interact with the database how to do an insert update delete inside a pls scale block yep clear chris whatever we learned is still everything holds good plus you are going to learn something extra you are going to combine two things now okay what okay hello 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 can't you hear me no 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 and now i can hear you no you're breaking off no hello i can't hear you maybe can you put the earphone close to you maybe because i can see your uh, sound check is very low okay can you hear me now yes i can hear you now yeah yes i think yes yeah it's better now right yes all yeah. three green lines yes yeah. so this is what is pls skill chris you're going yeah. to have all the control structures if and things like that combined with all is skill we did lot of skill right yeah which is equal to pls skill okay okay so if then and else and if loop and loop okay yes yes is yes. all such things we are going to have in pls skill so how does a pls skill block look like where are we going to code pls skill we are going to code pls skill in the same sql prompt okay yeah okay so then we submit a pls skill block how is it going to be processed the pls skill block is going to have multiple things it is going to have a skill it is going to have procedural constructs so internally database engine as usual it will have an sql engine to execute all the sql statements i can repeat it again please internally you. all these days there was a sql engine to execute yes. the sql statements yes now there will be a pls sql engine also coming into picture which will take care of all procedural statements Okay. What's what's a procedural statement? It's like if then loop those things are procedural. Yeah, yeah. If then loop. Yes, exactly, exactly. The programming stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so are we like so what are we so are we like so what what's the purpose of it? Like is it like is it still to like write a block of code? To to. Yes, it is to write a block of code which is going to sit permanently as a logic in the database. so that you may have to only invoke this block of code via your applications you need not write the code again and again the logic is written once okay. it's kept permanently in the database whenever you need it you just call it so this one interacts with the uh, so interacts with the uh, front end and then it will execute yes in the front so end yes in the front example, end like you will call this So, for example, if there is if there is a new patient, like you know, when you uh, type in all the data of the, for the patient and save it, what does it do? Yes, it goes and sits as a row in the table. How does okay. it do? How? It goes and it, it just it's an insert statement which is happening in this case. And this okay. patient is admitted in the hospital. He is there for around three four days. He is undergoing some procedures and some treatments and things like that. And when we have when he has to get discharged. there should be some total bill calculated for him yes so how is the total bill gets calculated how does the total bill gets calculated all these days what all transactions happened in his name would be recorded somewhere so my question is yes, so my, my wait, question wait, is let's yeah, speak yeah, about the logic only the business logic will speak Okay. Yes, yes. Whenever the patient is undergoing some treatment, some blood test, some uh, some diagnosis or something, uh, he pays some amount and he gets all that done. All his data is entered as some rows in some tables. Yes. Okay. When he has to get discharged, he has to get a summary report. So yes. there should be read happening on some tables. Okay. There should be some calculations done. There should be some updations in some table. There should be some inserts in some table. Discharge yes. summary. There is a discharge summary table. So any patient who gets discharged will be entered as a record in the discharge summary table. 
so yeah. all this has to happen in a controlled environment in a controlled manner yes so this code you will write what is this code composed of now this code is composed of multiple insert statements multiple select statements multiple update statements okay but yes. in sql yes but in sql we write them separate 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 separately right one after the other one after the other you have to write one remember the answer what you get and write the other one but now in tl sql you need not remember all such things everything goes and sits as a bundle okay that is tl sql it's a bundle multiple statements sitting as a block inside the database okay so so when someone reports uh, generates a report so so front end will not act so let's say if there is someone generating a report right so front end will not act anything so we hash groups back and then generate a report yes yeah he has front end doesn't do anything front end will just invoke an object from the back end this object in the back end will do all the logic at the back end itself and give you the final answer okay why why is this done at the back end if you do in the front end front end is becoming quite heavy okay something like that so so you and so you, you want to have so your single object you're saying that we can you can also do in the front end but the, but it's heavier yes you can yes you see if you do it in the front end everything you do you have to hit to the database each and every time you have to hit to the database mm-hmm, yes there should be connection between front end and back end open to that long yep you have to be hitting but here what happens you hit okay you everything sits at the back end see you send them all at once see yep. the usage of the network network is used continuously in sql okay in pl sql you put them all in a bundle and send the entire bundle at once okay you you can visualize krish yeah. all these days we were doing the first part of it yeah. now we are doing the second part of it right okay yeah yes okay we are going to combine everything and send it at once yeah this is how a pl sql block is going to look like okay now what is the structure of a pl sql block every pl sql block will have a declare section declare section okay which is optional under yeah. the declare section you will have some variables to be declared okay the begin and end begin and end becomes the body of the pl sql block okay all of the statements we write between begin and end yeah okay okay exception is also an optional section which is used to do runtime error handling okay this is the structure of a pl sql block Yeah. now we write two types of blocks we write two types of blocks uh, a type of block which has no name and life like which has no name it is just temporary it is created now executed you get the result and that's the lifetime of the block that see that's pretty much sql right that's pretty much uh... no 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 there in sql it's just once right only one statement but here you can write multiple statements in a block but uh-huh. it gets executed you get the result and that's the end of it okay yeah database does not store this anywhere okay this logic is not saved anywhere when we write a named block of code when we write a sub program or a named block of code we are going to create a block of code which is going to sit as an object in the database like how we create a table we can create something called as a procedure Yes. Yes. Now, the so, 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 the table proof. It is. It's a table. See, PL SQL. Then, yes, it's sitting in the database. It's table is not PL SQL. Table is just an object in database. Table okay. is an object in database. Like table, we create another object, which so, is called so, as a so, procedure. So, so the PL SQL actually uh, invokes the tables to get the report. Like yes. This. PL SQL actually interacts with the tables. It reads okay. from a table, it inserts in one table, it updates in the other table based on some condition, and it gives you the final result. Okay. So you're saying okay. So PL SQL is mostly used for the reports then. So this is. It a, is mostly a, a, used to not not reporting. Wait, wait, not reporting. It is used to implement some logic at the back end, some business logic, some functionality. Okay. Has no, to I'm, be implemented. I'm, I'm talking in real time scenarios, like outside, right? When they're yes. in the company. So this is this yes, is basically yes. okay. This is basically sitting in the back, and this code is sitting in the back, and and then if someone wants to generate yes. a report, you no, know, because if, for example, our company, they, when we want a report, right? So we select we select from this state to this state, uh, all the all the consumers mm. and all the all the all the uh, uh, con- uh, customers, and then just and this generate report uh, 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 link. Yes. Okay. I mean, at, uh, Now for this requirement. Yeah. Okay. Now for this requirement, what is required? Maybe you read from couple of tables. That's it, right? 
for generating no, no, the report no, no, in no, your no, they, they, no they have like 10 text fields right and then there's generate report and at the end there's text box generate report if you click on generate report it, it opens up the uh, pdf format and then it just all the report they thought that's all the P, uh, uh, data in it yes yes chris you are you're telling this right now yeah. uh to give this pdf file there must be a query a joint query return behind which is taking all the parameters what you gave and execute data pull out data from three or four tables okay. that's a report a report is just a select statement yeah, okay. report is not insert update delete report is oh. not having any logic report is having a criteria okay okay now okay. what is logic what is logic for all these customers you have to give some rhythm points okay you will pull out you will identify who are your gold customers or premium customers and you need to give yeah. some rhythm points assume like that so how okay. do you give rhythm points there is some logic written if the customer is made a business of more than this amount if the customer has made this many number of place this many number of orders then he is a premium customer so to give him some redemption points we have to read from one table we have to update in one table we have to delete in one table we have to insert in one table this oh, yeah. is called as a logic a logic which is which has to be implemented conditionally yes yeah okay this is where plsql is going to help you pl is going to plsql is going to help you here okay Understood. So this yeah. is how a structure of a PLS scale block is going to look like. We'll do. We'll do examples. We'll do examples slowly, one by one. Then you will be in a position to understand. Okay. So yes. any programming language we learn for the first time, I should share the PPT. I will share it. I've shared all the lessons which I've completed till now. But I've shared the classwork. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go here. We know yeah. the structure of a PLS scale block. So what you do is to make the job easy. I just want you to copy paste. That's it. Copy paste. That's it. Okay. Okay. The, the, hmm? Whenever we do any interaction with any data, with any programming language, whenever we write, first thing we learn is how to write a block of code, how to execute, and things like that. Yes. One second. So Krish, because this is programming, this is writing blocks of code. It will be really challenging for you uh, to initially get the syntax and things like that. Okay. Okay. So what? How I'm going to drive this? These the PLS skill lessons. Just I'll give you some examples. I'll give you some examples. I will explain you those examples. I'll give you what each one does. How to go ahead with it? You may have to only copy paste them and execute them. I okay. hope you can understand. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, the way how are we going to interact? You and me are the users who are writing PLS skill block. So how do we interact with it? By giving some output and trying to get. by giving some input and trying to get some output yes okay so to give some input we use ampersand something substitution parameter what we use in insert statement yes to get some output like in java system.out.println we use printf we use 
any programming language you have worked no okay uh, okay then there is an output statement that message is displayed at your terminal okay i mean the headline of the the, the title of the uh... no no not the title no you say uh, you say uh, 10 plus 10 equal to 20 the sum of two numbers equal to 20 then now yeah. the message you will pass 10 that is input you will pass another 10 that is also input you should get a message the sum of 10 and 10 is 20 but the display that is the output yeah okay so it's saying that you know okay so the sum the sum is 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 the uh, equal uh, to, yeah equal to 20 the sum equal to operator equal to symbol 20 No, no. When you say DBA, DBMS uh, underscore output under dot exactly. put. Exactly. Uh, yes. No, no. Yes. Right. That that means that you know that 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 phrase is is before the actual answer, actual uh, yes. result. Uh, yeah. Which phrase? No, no, no. Which phrase? Whatever you wanted to display that is written into here in DBMS output. So anything you want to be displayed, okay. it will be written in DBMS output dot put underscore line. Okay. It is the Oracle given method. It's the Oracle given method which you have to call to get some display from PLSQL blocks. Okay. So, so we have some means to give some input. We have some means to get some output. Input we get using answer sign. Okay, I'll show you that. Output we get using DBMS. Okay. Here for all, we need to see the output from any DBMS statement. We need to first do this. Now first to copy paste. This from the Notepad file. This oh, that. Oh, that's. 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 Oh, Okay, so, so yeah. That's it. Okay, I got it. SQL, yeah, SQL, SQL prompt, yes. Okay, now you can so, so, so any time, so, 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 okay, can I ask one question? So anytime you enter the database, like if you want to say, do PL SQL, that this is the one you should turn on. No, no, no. Well, when you do PL SQL and your PL SQL blocks are having this DBMS statement. For you to see the message of DBMS statements, this should be on. Okay. So this if you one, don't have any DBMS statements, then there is no need to be server output to be on. Yes, exactly. So every time there is a DBMS, a PL SQL uh, DBMS output, uh, you want you you want to you want to go with this first one. The first thing is set server yes. output on. Okay. Yes. You log in as Scott Tiger. You yes. do this right, line size, page size, and all, and immediately yes. you do this set server output on. Now this is the block you need to copy. These three lines you copy. Begin, DBMS yes. output hello end. Yes. This is the first example. Here yes. we don't have the declare section because we don't have any variables to be declared. So this can get really complicated, right? That's what you're saying. This one, okay. Now yeah, I got it. Yeah, when you go to type, yes, when you go to type, it will get really, really complicated. So even for you to do us one example, it may take half an hour to 25 minutes. So in a day, I can only show you two, three, two examples. So what oh, I wow. usually do in PLSQL is I just share the examples. I'll explain them everything. After the session, you may have to practice them. You may have to type everything line by line and learn. You okay. may have to execute them. Yeah. Type them. Be awesome. Okay. Then, But SQL, I never done that. SQL, I made you do everything. Yes. Yeah. Because it was one line of code. Now here it's blocks, right? Yes. Yeah. It is blocks of code. Okay, so I I got number four and 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 then I when I click on and I, when I when I self enter and then I had number four. Yeah, you give a slash now. Oh, you didn't give a semicolon, is it? I, yeah, I you give a slash. Okay, okay, so now I got. Oh, you give a slash. Okay, now I got yes. the hello. You give a slash. Now I, now I got the yes. hello. So we have the same procedure. Yeah. So we just successfully completed, right? Yes. Yes. So whenever we run any PLSQL block. If the block has no problem, if the block has no syntax errors, compilation errors, runtime errors, you get a message: PLSQL procedure successfully completed. Yes. Yes. This is so, the acknowledgement what you get. Yes. Whenever so you this, run any PLSQL. So yeah. Uh, can I ask you? So this is the code that that will always sit in the uh, DBMS. 
Now this yeah. code, yeah, this code is lifeless. This code yeah. is not having a name. No, it yeah. is correct. This block will say, but we are not given any name for it. Okay. Slowly we will learn. After three or four sessions, in the fifth session, I will tell you how to name a block and make it sit permanently in the database. Yes. What is that called as? That is called as a stored procedure. Stored it procedure. is stored procedure. Clear, Krish? Yes. Okay, you have to do a lot of uh, Google and reading or uh, self-learning after the session. Yes, uh, I will complete the course, but you will not be benefited with whatever I, I told. Okay. You have to do, you have to spend two more hours or three more hours after the session every day. Uh, do yeah. some reading. Do some yeah. reading. Okay. Yeah. Get some examples. SQL yeah. was easy. SQL was easy. Anybody can understand and you can quickly, you could connect with what I said. But okay. PLS scale is not so. PLS scale is not so. Okay? okay. But as a database developer, you need to know both. You need to know both SQL and PLS scale to get yeah. a career path in the database. Okay? okay. Yes. Okay. Now let's go to the next example. What is the next example? I am declaring a couple of variables. This is how you declare variables. Variable name, data type. Variable name, data type. And I am assigning value to it. I am initializing it to 10. This is how you assign a value to a variable. So there is a variable A declared and not having any value. There is a variable B which is declared and its value is 10. What's Begin. a what? No, what? The word. What's a V underscore A? Declare this. Okay. It's a variable name. It's a variable okay. name. That's syntax. Is what that is a syntax? The name? What is it? It's just that's a syntax. Oh, no, okay. What is the use of a variable? Okay. Now I'll come to this example. We need to add two numbers. Yeah. And you need to display the result. So where are these two numbers? You're going to give them a run time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who is going to hold these two numbers? A variable in programming, we call it as a variable. A variable yeah. is going to hold a value what you pass at one time. A variable can be compared with something. A variable is going to flow throughout the block of code. So you can use it anywhere you want it. Okay. So V underscore A is a variable who is getting assigned with a value what I pass at runtime. Why it's runtime? I have given answer sign something. Whenever you have answer sign something, it will prompt you, enter the value for A. Now you will enter the value for A. Assume you gave 10. B is already 10. A and B are added. You get the result on B and B is displayed. The sum is, the sum is by concatenation operator V underscore B. And this is your example to add two numbers. So, so from the okay, from the begin, it's it, it actually executes the, the top declare part, right? That's is it what it is? No, 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 it is from declare section. From the big, from declare, not from begin. No, yes. Yeah, so first from, section is the, no from begin. It's, it it actually executes the what we did before declare. Now what we declared, it shall execute from begin. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, begin is the executable section. Declare okay. is a declaration section. What okay. all you are going to use, you are going to put it in declaration section. What's, the, what's, the, and, going, what's the and symbol here? What what is, what is it to again? Uh, and symbol is, is a substitution parameter. You can give some input at runtime. You can give some input at runtime. It lasts oh, okay. you. When you, execute, when you copy paste it and give a slash, it lasts you. Enter the value for yeah uh, okay okay so okay so v underscore b okay dvm thought the sum is concatenation v underscore b but we, we said the v underscore b number is equal to 10 right yes and that's v underscore a ah, v underscore a and v underscore b are added and the result is put on b Okay, so there's no new uh, parameter. No, there's if we, if we already say v underscore v already we already, uh, we already declared v underscore a and v underscore b. So how could we, how could it identify v underscore b as something else? Because it should be v underscore something else, isn't it? Like something something a new uh, new parameter to like execute this command. Like, Not to, required. Okay. A and b are added. Yes, if a and b are added, like you know, how can we actually again say it, 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 let's say for a and then uh, let's say a is equal to one, b is equal to one, and then we uh, and then if we say a plus b should be like a c, not like 
no it can hold a and b was one okay a one and one each one plus one goes and sits again back on b b is just a variable no it can hold any value c okay, okay. a is equal to one b is yeah. equal to two yeah once again if you do b is equal to three it is not going to stop you you can assign whatever value you want it okay so v underscore we, we we can put anything in there we, we you can put like you can put like tommy number yes anything anything oh, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. okay uh, so there's like a, a semicolon before 10 like uh, i mean before equal to it's a column and number okay Yeah, you begin. We understand. You paste everything. You just copy paste. That's it. Don't go to type. How do you copy paste? paste I, I can't. Can I, I, I can't copy paste here. How can I? Oh, oh yeah, from my text. Okay. Oh yeah, from my text. Yeah, Sorry. File. Yeah, from the notepad file, you copy and paste it at the prompt. Right click, edit, paste, okay. and give a slash. Give a slash. Okay. How do you? Okay. Right click, edit, paste. Okay. Begin. And okay. How do you how do you copy? Just copy, and then how do how do you undo the how do you undo the the top uh, the already I I'm sorry I already wrote five lines in there. How do you undo all those things? I just just enter enter and give a dot and again enter enter and give a dot dot okay and then enter. So yes. nothing will get executed there. Okay. Nothing will get executed. So in, in the text file, you just you just need to copy there, like uh, right click and copy. Yes. And then, what do we do in the SQL prompt? Hello. You edit and right click, edit paste. No, how do how do you edit and paste? Okay. Oh, right. Okay, on the top. Okay, edit. And paste oh, okay and then click enter and say uh, yes yeah, so now enter the value yeah so it's asking you to enter the value for a yeah you give whatever you wanted a and b will be added the result is put on b itself and b is displayed so okay Okay, like set twenty, and then like and then like the sum is thirty. Yeah. Yes. All. So once it, once again you give a slash. Yeah. Once again you execute. Again slash. Yes. Okay. Back you slash. execute it once again. Okay. Yes. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. And enter the value of for v underscore again. So yeah. Say, enter. We are doing it second time. Okay. So if I said ten, it's like twenty. Yes. Okay, my question is declare v underscore a, uh, v underscore b is equal to ten. So we not we so we did not we did not give an a a a a a number or, or like an integer for v underscore a before. Is that it? Uh, no, no, we have declared it to be number data type. Number is a data type, no? Also. Yes. So we didn't we didn't give data type for v underscore a before. Is that is that the whole thing? Like, because we yes, underscore b already yes, yes. We, we underscore b already already has a number is equal to 10. We yeah, b is already having a 10. We begin and then it's like v underscore a. Yes. Okay. B a has no value. We have only declared it. How do we assign a value to a? We assign a value to a by passing it at runtime. By passing it like by by saying it in this and symbol there. That's yes, the, uh, exactly. Yes. Okay. Enter the new value 20. Okay. Old. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Old. And then there's like uh, the line number yeah. five. Yes. What you pass okay. later is new. Okay. New. Okay. New. And then sum is equal to 30. Got it? Yes. 
this is how we declare variables we assign values and things like that now let us see how do we we won't do such things adding two numbers prime numbers or even numbers we won't no, no, do no, such no. things yeah in the database what we yeah. do in database in database we interact can we interact okay with tables so yes. how do we interact with tables we do insert update delete yes So, so how do we do insert update delete in plsql how do we do select in plsql okay so you begin and so end here, yes right. between begin and end you can do insert update commit delete roll back select see the syntax there is nothing okay. changed here everything is same yes. everything is same how you do in sql okay yes so so we actually combining everything into one and then uh, yeah so we're trying to commit and then you ro roll back everything again delete from code cid is equal to 8 yes. and then yes roll back okay okay so i need to copy and uh, so so we, we need to select, select salt from emp now before before beginning it we need to do that too pardon me yeah everything no, 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 not uh, select start from EMP, begin and end. Your block is only begin and end. Okay, so how does it how does it know that we need to do, okay. <clears throat> how how, do, how does it know where, which one, where to get it off? Oh, it's inset into codes. Okay, that's codes yes. is the table. We already have the table, right? Yes, value subject number, okay. Okay, so we just need to copy and paste here. Yes. Begin. Okay, PL su yeah, successfully completed. So now we need to go and check, yes. cross, cross check it. Yes. Okay, so let's start from course. Okay, so I'm setting the course values 8 Java, oh yes, 6000, yes, that's committed. But if I go to course, where's course ID? I don't think because it, it has rolled back, right? So it won't have, it won't see, it yes. won't see anything. Yes, it won't have. Yes. Okay. Okay. So if I do again the same thing, uh, oh no. So how can I go back and undo the uh, rows? Just a rows. Pardon me. Uh, how can undo I go and un undo the rows? Like delete you know, let's say there's eight rows. Uh, delete from. How do you yeah, delete from course where course ID equal to eight. No, no, no. My my question is, you know, I copied and pasted the uh, uh, the something in the in the text file, right? My question is, there's a number, there's a like eight rows here. So how do I go back, and delete the eight, number eight row, number seven row, number six row? Is there a way? Uh, no, no, no. You have to go to the Notepad file. You have to uh, go to the Notepad file, which I shared by a. No, no. I I understand. So I actually copied the notepad file right and then i got the result but my question is there's like, there's like eight eight rows in the uh, on the uh, notepad file so when i copied and pasted on the on the sql command line how do i how, how do I, how do if, if i want to like delete number eight eight row number seven or row number six is there a way that i can do do you, do you understand at the command prompt you cannot do yes at the command prompt we cannot go up down back and things like oh, that. Oh, you can't. So, okay. okay. So everything you say. Uh, you that see is why, there. yes, I told everything has to be in the notepad file. Okay. Okay. So that's, okay. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So if I, if I do it again, it, it won't be because it's like, a, it has it has the unique constraint, so you can't you can't do the unique constraints number course ideas is unique constraint. So exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay, I understand now. So do I do I need to go on to the next one too or yes. So what is the next one all about? Wait. What is the next one? The next one is to do a read from the table, get the headcount of employees in a particular department number. Okay. 
okay so yeah. we are reading how do we read from a table we read using uh, we simply say uh, select select some select constant yeah. from the table where mm -hmm. some condition but here yeah. how are we going to read we are going to read the column from the table into a variable first we are going to read a value of the table into a variable and then we are going to display the value of that variable can you repeat it again please we are going to read the value into a variable and display the value of the variable in pls scale okay in so HTML, we directly read yeah we directly read right the column we yes. get the display but in pls scale, we need to read it into a variable and so display some, so, so the, the variable can be like x for example uh, the variable is x yes. and then x, x will be displayed yes x will be displayed okay okay so we will see the example what i have given if at all you are writing select select column 1 comma column 2 column comma column 3 into variable 1 variable 2 variable 3 okay. this is how we are going to write select in pls case yes okay yes select in pls case yes so what is this example display this display the salary and job of employees for a given employee number See, a variable can hold only one value at a time. That's the purpose of a variable. To hold a value. It cannot hold many, many values. It can hold only one value at a time. So when we are reading employee number, it should be only one employee number we read. Okay. Hello? Yes, I am so we, we have to read only one salary. Okay, yes. only one salary. So what, our query should have a where class? Yes. See the example. Okay, to hold salary and job, we are having two variables. Yes. We are having two variables. Yes. So one for salary and the other one for job. Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Select yeah. salary comma job into these two variables from the table. Into variable two into V salary and V from employee where employee number is equal to like you know you have to say what employee number it is yes That's why it's yeah employee if you don't number. give employee number yeah if you don't give employee number okay it will have all 14 employee names and salaries yes yes display okay yes okay so can you copy paste this and see what is happening mm -hmm. we are reading so, two columns into two variables from the table Oh, okay, so I'm I'm just, I, I'm trying to understand this one, right? But how do how do so? Hello. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, I'm just curious. Like, where does this one apply? Like, for, for example, in real time scenario, how yeah, it'll does always this... apply. No, it'll I'm, always apply. I... I'm sure I'm sure it does. I'm just Wait. I'm just I'm just, came, I'm just thinking no, how no. does like. In it. When we when we do in SQL prompt, we have to do one by one and see. Okay, and we are not going to work at the back end directly. If at all we are going to work, we are going to work via the application. So how will the application speak to database? The application is also going to have a lot of SQL and PLSQL code in it. Can I repeat that again, please? See, we are going to interact with the database via the application. The yes. application is also going to have Okay, lot of SQL and PLSQL code in it. SQL is only one line of one line of code, but PLSQL is a block of code. Yes. So in PLSQL also you will write select statements. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, I totally understand that. My thing, my, my question, I, I'm just curious to, to know, like, uh, where, how does this, uh, no, I can totally understand the front end and the back end, right? I thought the back end would always be like, uh, we'll always be like, uh, uh, it's not dynamic, it's just static. It, it just sit, I thought it just sits there, and then, like, when, when someone from front end access the database, and then it'll get, it'll get the result. That's what I had yes. an idea in, in my mind. No, no, I didn't get to come again. Yeah, so come question. again. So when I when I actually was learning, starting to learn this one, SQL. Um, hmm. So my idea was there's always a front end application, and 
front end yes. application will always be dynamic but the back end application is always like for database always like static so when someone acts want to access from the front end they will they will they will invoke the back end to get the desired result yes exactly they invoke the back end via the front end so back end is going to call some pl sql code i i thought the front end will call the pl sql code like you know i yes front end will call the pl sql code which is present in back end front end okay, will sorry, call sorry. will no, have no. some sql statements return in it no i thought sorry i thought front end will will always invoke the all, uh, already which has static in there like you know the tables are static right? so it will call the static tables no no no, no, no. static no. Not, table will not be static okay on flipkart on ebay or amazon you are yes, placing yes. an order yes okay that's the front end you are entering all the details and you are confirming your order the yes. moment you click the confirm button yes. okay what will happen the details of the order will be captured in the application java application and there will be an insert statement into the oracle table where this row goes on to yes so yes. it is not static right it is dynamic data in the tables are dynamic whenever there is an order made there is an insert of a row happening but we are not inserting connecting from the back end we are connecting we are doing an insert via the front end okay okay so so the front end will not do anything front end will actually like invoke nothing front end invoke. will connect it connect yes, that front end will connect to the database and it will do the required coding so you're saying that this this uh, the database in the back end pl the back end coding should always know what the front end is what the front end is invoking so they need to know yes, the, yes, they need to know yes, they need, yes. they need, no my question is do they need so you think that they need to know what both language should know about each other yes exactly they should know about each other but what java is also doing java is also having the same sql code in it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay so yeah. what are we trying to do here we are declaring two variables to hold one to hold the salary and the other one to hold the job of the employee we are reading these two column values from the table and displaying them that's it okay you did this you got this okay. no because i'm i'm trying to uh, like i'm really trying to focus on this thing but i'll try it okay yeah i'll try to copy okay wait wait now i'll give you a simple example wait wait yeah. wait i will give you a simple example right to understand uh, there is a tax filing which is happening end of every year yes true this tax filing is this tax is calculated okay on so many factors your savings your in uh, what to say your bills whatever you submitted your yes. expenses whatever yes. allocations you are made okay yes. so, so this tax calculation has to happen for every employee yes end of every year every employee tax calculation has to happen how yes. do we calculate the logic to fix the logic to fix government has given certain uh, for a certain rate and that's that remains fixed for few years only when there yes. is a change in the logic only when there is a change in the logic we may have to change our code in the back end now yes. we have written a block of code in the back end mm-hmm. we have written a block of code in the back end which is going to read from a table which is going to read from a table to know what allocations the employee has made and it yeah. is going to go and read from the other table what are all the bills he submitted what saving he has done what yeah. uh, kind of uh, okay the other benefits he is going to get okay yeah. based on all this the tax is calculated yes okay now this formula this formula has to be applied for every employee yes and finally when the tax is calculated there is an insert of this tax amount in a different table which is read for the report generation can you repeat the last sentence please when the tax is calculated the yeah. final amount is inserted into another table for every employee okay yes and when okay now i ask for my tax statement Yes. and the employee is asking the hr give me my statement so yes. hr will print a report which is a pdf form of only that employee and this so you saying that you can just so you are saying that so for example for, if you take this example here so this variable one uh, variable uh, just a second so you saying that variable uh, uh, b underscore sal 
can be it'll, be it'll be dynamic so every employee has their own uh, uh, has their own uh, uh, income so if you put that in yes. if I, okay if you put that income the report will come generate exactly if you put okay. the employee number yeah. you just give the employee number you may yeah. have to read so many things about the employee you may have to yeah. calculate something you may have to insert somewhere you may have to update somewhere this is a logic now this yeah. logic you don't go to repeatedly do for each and every employee yes only thing required to calculate this is the employee number yes so you write the logic only once and keep it permanently in the database oh, okay so okay so i i actually thought that, that was a, i just thought that was a front end itself because if you write no, a logic you can do it in front end you can okay. do it in front end correct but yeah. even in front end the code is going to be invoked so many times right why yes. you want to expose it in the front end keep it at the back end so that nobody can know what is your logic we okay. just call you click the tax calculator button yes. on the ui there is a button tax calculator yeah. you click yeah. on the button the tax yeah. calculated the report is yes. generated yes yes that that is where pls here is useful back end logic programming logic is required so okay. data sits in the back end logic also sits in the back end this logic is computed on the data in the back end and you only get the result to the front end clear okay Okay. Not okay. mandatory. I never say it is mandatory that you have to put your logic at the back end. You can okay. put your logic in the front end also. Okay. So so okay. So if you think all the logic. Yeah. Wait, wait. If all the logic is sitting in the front end, you will have thousands and thousands of lines of code in your front end application. Yes. So how do we make it simple as possible? Okay. And moreover, this is a reusable code, right? Yeah. So put the logic in the back end inside a yeah. stored procedure. Okay. Getting call yeah. the stored procedure whenever you want it. Okay. Call this. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Did so Jill, three, you're at five minutes time, but I just want to make sure that you know what you said was what I think it is. Yes. Yeah. Please okay. let's have a recap. I don't want to show you another example. It's okay. It's okay. We <laughs> learn slowly, but you should be very clear. Why are you doing this? Okay. Where are you going to use it? Yes, Krish, please tell me okay. in a nutshell. Okay, What's just okay, just okay. okay. Uh, just a second, here. Uh, I, I, I want to I want to open you your link because what we do from tax return, you got this is a good. It's a really good tax return uh, example, right? Uh, uh, yes. Okay, just a second. I'm just trying to uh, open. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, okay. So can you just click on this link here? Uh, I'll copy and paste, if you don't mind. And then I want, I also want yes, to see. Please. Yeah, if you click on copy and paste, right? If you click the link. Have you have you clicked on it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to see if you are open. Yes. Is it open? I can't okay. see. You. No, no, no. What is this link all about? It's it's all about just exactly what you said right now. So, but okay. I just want to confirm it if that's the one. Okay. It's 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 just revenue agency from Canada, right? So. No, no. I like... just yeah, yeah. I I just gave a problem statement. It's just based yeah. on the Canadian government uh, logic, the formula. Yeah. Okay. Now, where all the this? It also so, the data can about you, the employee. All is, yeah, can, yes. Tell me. Can, can you go and like accept the down? Uh, accept it. Like I just want to see. So that is either exactly what you're trying to say, and then I just um, I'm just I'm just a little confused. Nothing else. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you accept it, right? So. I I, I just gave an example of some logic to sit yeah. in the back end. Yeah. Okay. So any logic. See, tax calculation is one logic in a government organization in a company. Yes. Okay. So see, select the cal type of calculation. What's yeah. the salary? There are some questions for you to answer. So, yeah. the, so uh, uh, you give the employee number. The moment you give the employee number, you get all the details. Yes. The database will get all the details. Yes. Okay. Then it'll ask you what is your savings you made, what bills you've submitted. Okay. Yeah. Now the, it is not required here. It'll ask when everything is there in the database. It will automatically go and read from there. Yes. It need not ask you, right? Yeah. So you so you think that it also has to have help from the front end too, like just for the uh, for the UI uh, for the sake of UI. 
for the sake of user interface, they need it has need this is for example, this is an example, good example. If I'm thinking click on maybe click on next maybe salary, right? And then it goes to the uh, uh, how much you have, how much you, you actually had this year. Yes, 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 yes. So this is okay, just now what are they asking? These are some questions to answer to know. Okay, next if I say okay, I'll say next. Just so one next. parameter value you got. Yes, one parameter value you got. Then they're asking for another parameter. What is the employee's name? What is the employer's name? Okay, yes. problems or territory. Every detail in the comments is asking and it is going to calculate your time. See, yeah. pay yes. period frequency and what is your pay and things like that. Okay, assume you choose something. You should give your pay also somewhere because the the organization would have entered all the details with the yes. government, right? Yes, yeah, no, no. So How about just, just, in... just select select from the province, just say Alberta, right? Uh, some okay. just put the, some give some data yeah, for the yeah, hashtag. Yeah, mandatory fields, right? So, so you think that okay, this what is what is mandatory? Uh, the province is mandatory. Yeah, just just, just the Alberta. Alberta, yes, the first page, right? page monthly, monthly, just say monthly, uh, once in a, a month in a month, or twelve times a year. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Date of date the employee. Of, yeah. Date the employee. Yes, something. Yeah, I'll date of something. the employee period. Yeah, just maybe July, anything, any, any, you can put anything. Uh, just uh, 2017 month, and then any month, any day. Yes, I, I put, I put something. Yeah, and then I'll say next, something. right? And then, so this is, yes, this is okay, okay. This is yes. okay. So what, so what is your paid region? What is your... So if you click next, right? So my question click is, this is all the front end. That is only front end for the for the for, for, for example salary that's like fifty thousand, fifty thousand. Yes, 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 yes. Fifty thousand, right? Just fifty thousand. The front end, it's the UI. Yes. Yeah. So you can go all the way down, and then let's say uh, that's nothing else. No, no vacation pay, nothing. Just go all the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and then next. and they select next, right? So. So this is just the front end, you think that so so uh, everything you think that logic is already exactly. uh, the database logic is already in the back end. So what what the yes, UI exactly. the front end front end is doing is just just deflecting what you know what the customer yes. needs. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, Chris. You're right. Yeah, you take all the parameters, finally you submit. Yeah. All these values are taken. A lot of processing is happening, a lot are happening. Yes. Okay, at the back end, you get yes. your results. Yeah. So that will be very, very clear when I do stored procedures for you. Okay. Stored procedures. Yes, exactly. You got it? Yes, yes, okay. The purpose of writing PLS skill. So PLS skill is required in every database. Every database supports PLS skill. Okay. So, yes. So what is the ideal situation here? Like most of the companies will do only the front end or like only the back end or they will do mix No, no, no. They have to do everything. They have to, if you are a company to develop an application, you should have both front end and back end. But in no. the company, one yeah. who in the company, one who does front end may do back end, but most of the time there will be a separate back end team and there is a separate front end team. Okay. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know, for UI that's the front end, right? So I'm, 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 I'm talking yes. about logic itself. Which, where, where do they actually like where, uh, uh, prefer okay. the logic? Okay. This is decided by the architect. This is decided by the customer. Oh, the architect, okay. there is somebody called as an architect who gets the requirement from the customer and does the design for the application. Entire application will have a blueprint. Okay. How we are going to go, the hierarchy flow. Then we will okay. decide, okay, what has to get into the back end, what has to go into the front end, what all the UI should have and things like that. Okay, so it all depends on the uh, on the performance. I think. The design, yeah. The design. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it is going to improve, influence performance. If everything is a back end, Back end becomes heavy. If everything is in the front end, front end becomes heavy, right? Chris. Okay. So you need to deploy half to hit. And well, you need to dis you need to like dip, uh, disperse, like you know, half to front yes. end, half to back end, maybe. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You got an idea? What yes, is I got. block of code in the back end? Yes. What is PLS skill? How to write them? How to execute them? Yes. I understand it now, yes. Okay, we'll continue. We'll continue in tomorrow's session, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you for your explanation. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, thank you, Krish. Yeah, yeah. Bye, Krish. Have a good day. Yeah. yeah.